It's Ben from No Time To Game here, and today we're looking a little into the wild world of Chinese turn-based RPGs. If you've been on Steam at all in the last couple of years, you probably noticed the rise in Chinese games. And while many are left untranslated, we are being seen more and more get the sweet, sweet English edition. So we can get our grubby mitts on them. So let's have a look at five turn-based RPGs that actually have English in them, in no particular order. Okay. So before I carry on, I apologize if I mangle any names and such. I'm learning Chinese, but I'm still not very good at speaking it. Anyway, first up, Zhuan Yuan Sword, The Gate of the Firmament. Zhuan Yuan Sword is a massive long running series, equivalent to something like Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest in the Chinese market. And I believe Gate of the Firmament was the first one that actually got translated, maybe. Uh, this particular title, has us playing an interesting variant of like an ATB style system. For those of you that don't know what an ATB system is, it's turn-based but has the speed element where there's like some form of gauge that fills up before you can use your next attack. Kind of like Final Fantasy VII and such. Um, you only control one of your party members at a time, but you can switch freely between them while the computer controls the other party members. There's also some interesting gameplay around collecting monsters and such, but the big push of this game is the story. Boasting a ton of cutscenes and dialogue, it plays out almost like, like a fantasy drama TV show with how much dialogue and cutscenes and such there are. The characters experience a lot of growth and such throughout their journey, and you're there to experience everything along with them. So the game initially released in like 2015 and has since seen itself grace the PC, Xbox One, and PS4. On to Empire of Angels 4. Now, on to something a little more cultured, shall we say. Empire of Angels 4 is the fourth installment in this series, I think. Honestly, I couldn't find out much about this series at all, other than this game. So, it's, I think it's the fourth one. And it's an interesting game set in a world where men don't exist. So how they make more people, I'm not sure. The women must go on an adventure to save their world from evil. An evil that can only be stopped by knocking the clothing off their opponents. Gameplay wise, it's quite a simple strategy title. And you get to take on quite a few different girls into battle with you, adjusting their jobs and such as you would expect. Uh, Empire of Angels I found to be surprisingly fun, if a little simplistic. And it isn't too cultured, considering it has such a vibrant chibi art style. So, if your parents or friends or family or anything saw you playing this, they probably would only judge you a little bit. It released in 2016 for PC. Tale of Wushu. Tales of Wushu is a little bit different from the last two. Uh, Story-wise, it's not so strict. Could be more described as like a martial arts simulator in that it's very open. You don't necessarily have to follow anyone or do any particular plot line, but you get to experience it more in an open world manner. But it still has turn-based combat, so don't worry. It's this openness that makes it worthwhile and quite different from a lot of games, as it's quite rare to find an open world turn-based titles outside of the Chinese gaming scene. So if you want to experience what it's like to raise your own martial artist in the way that you want, then this is the game for you. It also released in 2015, 2016 for, for PC. Wandering Sword. I recently dropped a review of this game and explained why I really loved it. It's an interesting mix of classic like 16-bit RPG exploration with an interesting turn-based tactics battle system. Their own version of like 2D HD pixel art and it's incredible to look at. And it has a ton of systems for progression as it drops the classic level system in favour of equipment, meridian points and martial arts being used to make your character stronger. It follows the story of a young man that's on the dream of being a martial arts master and due to a twist of fate he is actually sent down that path thanks to being poisoned and seeing all of his friends die. But from this dire predicament he will rise to the very peak. It was released in 2023 for PC. Hero's Adventure Road to Passion Somewhat similar to Tales of Wushu, Hero's Adventure is an open world turn based tactics martial arts game. But all wrapped up in quite a fun art style and having a great sense of humour throughout. 
The game sets the tone for its open world from the very beginning, as you literally drop out of a tree, and that's what gets you involved in the martial arts world. <laughs> but even at that point, the openness comes into play, as you're literally given the option of walking away from the events that are unfurling in front of you. There's just so much to do, from the classic becoming the strongest in the world, to just being a monk. Or, you know, romancing all the ladies. Or if you're like me, you stick your nose into everyone's business and get embroiled in all sorts of trouble along the way. This was very recently released at the time of this recording of this, in 2023, for PC. So here we have five Chinese RPGs that I would recommend. If you haven't played any before, the most recent ones, Heroes Adventure and Wandering Sword, are my personal choices for you to start with. Anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to do all that YouTube jazz. Like, hit the like button and subscribe, and see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.